Good morning, students. Welcome to the chemistry class. For this session, uh, I start the new topic that is unit fifth, coordination chemistry. Coordination chemistry. Children, we have some that is idea about the coordination chemistry because the previous topic we saw that is related about coordination. Okay, so in the previous that is the topic transition element lesson, the general characteristic of D block element, one of the characteristic as that is the complex formation. Okay, that that is uh, talk about. Uh, the transition element to form the coordination compound okay so we saw the reason also why the transition element to form the coordination that is the compound to mean or complex compound it occurs means that is the reason is number one that is the small size of the d block element okay so next high that is a positive charge and next one the d block that is the transition element has the capability to accept the electron from the ligand so due to the reason the transition element to form the complex so till that is we saw the previous topic okay so this is the example for that is the coordination compound CuNH3 4. Okay, here plus and SO4. Okay, that is minus. So here this is the coordination that is the compound. So another one example K4FeCn6. So this is also one of the many examples. So now I'm writing this two example. So this is the coordination compound. Okay. So now you have that is get that is idea. Slightly you get ideas about coordination that is compound or complex compound. So here the coordination compound is formed mean it need the transition metal as well as this second part that is the ligand that means so the coordination compound the particular definition mean that is Lewis acid so coordination compound is obtained from Lewis acid and Lewis base so Lewis acid is metal Lewis base is ligand so this Lewis acid that is electron acceptor so Lewis base means electron donor okay so now to produce the coordination compound this is the introduction part children okay so now that is uh, this coordination compound is that is important for in the not only for biological not only for industries in many that is area this coordination compound that is it is very helpful okay it is very useful so using this coordination compound that is we get many that is the benefit so now here i am discussing so that is the biological functions okay so the coordination Coordination compound that is play a vital role in biological function. So one is that is the hemoglobin, chlorophyll, and vitamin B12. Okay, so now that is either biological function. So one is hemoglobin, hemoglobin. Okay, so second one that is vitamin B12. This one in your textbook give this example. Okay, so sometimes we expect the one word question also. So vitamin B12 is also called as, that is the cyanocobalamin. Okay, cobalamin. And next one, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. So next, that is Siegler Nata Catalyst. Siegler Nata catalyst and next one Wilkinson catalyst Wilkinson catalyst from this we expect the one word question children so whenever read the textbook 
this one wanted to underline it in the textbook okay so now talk about the hemoglobin so is a Co coordination that is the compound is a coordination compound so it it is the complex of that is fe plus 2 now i show the structure okay children so this one complex of that is fe2 plus so this hemoglobin we know very well is a red pigment of blood okay so we know the uses also that is the oxygen carrier okay so next one vitamin b12 so it's very important our body so cyanocobalamin so here the complex that is co that is plus 2 okay so next one that is chlorophyll we know very well about this chlorophyll that is the word so it is the that is the pigment green pigment that is present in the plant maybe if it is absent means the plant is not green in color okay so here the complex is that is mg that is plus 2 okay so next one talk about the siegler nata catalyst so siegler nata catalyst mean it is the mixture of that is titanium tetra chloride tical4 and next one sorry aluminium okay so c2 h5 thrice so tri alkyl aluminium so this mixture is known as siegler nata catalyst once again titanium tetra chloride tri three times alkyl group generally okay but actually here i am writing ethyl so we say generally tri alkyl that is aluminium is the siegler nata catalyst so we know the that is the siegler nata catalyst so this also that is a, a one of the coordination compound so it is used in that is the industrial process so this see the word catalyst so this that is tcl4 alc2 h5 thrice it act as a catalyst where it act as a catalyst mean see this example that is propylene CH3, CH double bond CH2, that is propylene. So now write the Siegler Nata catalyst. That means this one want to write here. So now it converted into CH3, CH, CH2. Okay, so n times this denoted as polymerization reaction. So propylene compound to use polypropylene. Okay, polypropylene. So, with the help of this Siegler Nata catalyst. So, this one that is the industrial that is the process. So, here in industry that is to get that is a, a large amount. So, we using the Siegler Nata catalyst, we can that is a, in a short time we get that is the more product. So, this is the that is the importance in the this one biological as well as the catalyst catalytic area also. This coordination compound is that is very useful. Okay. So, now see the that is the diagram of hemoglobin next chlorophyll okay student see the structure of chlorophyll okay so here magnesium is the center mg2 plus next one see the ring so this ring is the power by ring ring so this is the coordination compound okay chlorophyll so next see this is the hemoglobin that is the structure here you have e plus 2 and here also have the ring structure so this ring structure is that is uh, known as power by ring ring okay so next one see the next that is the coordination compound example that is carboxy peptidase a okay carboxy peptidase a and carbonic anhydrase are also coordination that is the compound okay next wilkinson catalyst this is the wilkinson catalyst formula rh rhodium cl p ph3 and thrice so the compound name is cl chlorido tris tris that is denoted as 3 okay tris triphenyl ph ph that is the phenyl group so phosphine ph3 the parent is ph3 phosphine 
rhodium rh rhodium 1 so the compound is a name okay that is the iupac name so this wilkinson catalyst wilkinson catalyst that is used as a catalyst where it is used as a catalyst mean that is hydrogenation of alkene so hydrogenation means we know the meaning that is addition of hydrogen in the alkene compound alkene compound mean that is the double bond that means double bond converted into that is the single bond okay so wilkinson catalyst the substance name is chlorido tris tri phenyl phosphine okay so in the formula ph that is the phenyl group rh rhodium cl chlorine but here want to use the word chlorido okay phosphine formula ph3 okay so here p ph3 so this one we are writing as phosphine okay so later on later on that is i am going to explain the iupac name for the coordination compound okay children okay so now see the topic double salt and coordination compound okay so in that is the uh, double salt and coordination com uh, compound that is we see the that is uh, example definition everything before that we know about that is the simple salt okay for example table salt the the formula that is NaCl table salt formula NaCl so it contain positive and negative cation and anion so simple salt we need to contain that is simple cation as well as simple anion so this simple salt is obtained from acid and base so NaOH base NaOH plus hydrochloric acid so now to give the salt that is NaCl and H2O so water so this one for you know very well this is a neutralization reaction okay so salt is obtained from acid and base okay acid hydrochloric acid and base sodium hydroxide this is the simple salt so now we see the next one double salt and coordination compound so double salt that is the definition means that is the two or more stable compound mixed together hmm. mixed together and allow to evaporate to form the product I, once again i read two or more stable compound mixed together allow and to evaporate to form the product so now the product now to obtain the product okay so now based on the product okay so now that is our nature of the product it is classified into that is two one is double salt okay and another one is coordination compound double salt and coordination compound so this one how that is we can classify double salt and coordination compound okay so now to obtain the product coordination that is a double salt is obtained so this double salt now that is it involved in the test that is the qualitative analysis test so in qualitative analysis test children we know that is a two analysis one is qualitative and another one is quantitative so in quant qualitative that is denoted as that is what are the element or ions present in the compound so quantitative analysis mean how much percentage it is present in the compound okay so we know that is very clearly about qualitative and quantitative okay so now the product now that is to involve in this qualitative analysis test so now it give them that is the compound that is a double salt compound it dissociated into its that is ions okay constituent ions but at the same time in the coordination compound it never give the constituents that is ions it never give the symbol ions so this is the main distinguish even we can identify from this that is the qualitative analysis test okay so once again see the definition two or more stable compound mixed together 
and allow to evaporate and to form the product. So product is whether it is double salt or coordination compound. If the compound is double salt mean it is dissociated and to its that is a constituent ion. Here it never dissociated into simple ions. Now I am going to write the double salt example as well as coordination compound example. Okay, so now double salt example, more salt. Okay, and another one example, potassium. Children, here we study the formula thoroughly. Okay, so first potassium formula, K2SO4 Al2 dot. Okay, Al2 SO4 thrice 24 H2O. This one for potassium formula. Okay. K2 SO4 Al2 SO4 thrice 24 H2O. So more salt formula Fe SO4 NH4 twice SO4 6 H2O. This one more okay, salt example. Okay, so this compound is obtained from the mixture of two, that is the stable compound. So now I write the equation. So FeSO4, okay, this is one stable compound and uh, plus ammonium sulfate, NH4 twice SO4 plus water molecule. Now to get the product Fe. SO4 dot NH4 twice SO4 dot 6 H2O. So now this is the single that is the chemical formula that is the more salt. Okay. So this compound is obtained from mixture of Two, that is the stable compound in a stoichiometric ratio. Now to give the, that is the compound is obtained. So this is the double salt, okay, example. Okay, so now this compound is introduced into the qualitative analysis. What happens? It gives the, this compound dissociated to give the, that is constituent ions. Okay. So now see this constituent that is the ion. So Fe plus 2. Okay. SO4 2 minus. Here also SO4. Here also SO4. So write one time. So next that is the compound is NH4 plus. So next one that is water molecule. Okay. That is 6H2O. So this shows this one dissociated to give the constituents ions Fe plus 2, SO4 2 minus NH4 plus and 6 H2O. So this one for that is the double salt. Okay. So but at the same time now it does not give the that is the course not split give the that is a constituent ions means it is a coordination compound. Okay, so next one that is the coordination compound. Now, let us say that that is the preparation. Okay, so FeCN twice react with potassium cyanide to give the product K4 FeCN6. Okay, so FeCN twice that is ferrous cyanide. Potassium cyanide to use K4FeCN6. Okay, the compound name is potassium ferrocyanide. So, this is the coordination compound. Two stable compound mixed in a stoichiometric ratio and to give the product. Now, the product is coordination compound. Okay. So, now this coordination compound, it involved in the qualitative analysis test. Okay. So, it gives, it, that is already I told, it never, that is dissociated to give the symbol ions. Okay. So, now it gives, what happens now we are going to see. So, first one, that is K plus. Here, four times. So, right, 4K plus. Next, Fe, 
CN six times and four minus. Student, uh, please be noticed this area here. It does not that is produce a phi plus two. It does not produce CN minus. Maybe if it is split means the compound is double salt. But here never split a phi two plus and CN minus. So overall the that is the quad that is the complex compound. Okay. So within the sphere metal as well as cyanide it is present. So this is the that is this shows. The compound is the coordination compound. Okay, this is one of the clue also. Okay, so never split into that is the simple ions. Okay, so now see the distinction between double salt and the coordination compound. So double salt means that is it lose their identity. So in coordination compound it does not lose their identity because it is present as it is. Okay, so it does not lose their identity. Okay, so in double salt, so point number one. Okay, lose their identity. Lose their identity. Here it does not lose their identity in the coordination compound. This is a point number one. This one does not lose their identity. Okay. So next one, it dissociate. That is the double salt. Okay. So now this one for double salt. This one for coordination compound. So double salt it dissociate into that is the constituents ion. Here never that is. Produce the that is the simple ions. So it dissociate, it dissociate into constituent ions. Constituents ions. Here it never produce the constituent ions. Okay. So next write the example. That is example is potassium. Alum. Next example, more salt. More salt. Here in coordination compound, example, write that many example, write anything. So K4, FeCN, that is 6. Okay, so next Cu and H3, 4 times SO4. Is an example okay? So, we we must know that is right. The distinction is also in that is the double salt as well as the coordination compound. Okay, so now say the topic positive of Werner theory. Okay, so Werner, the scientist name that is a Swiss chemist Alfred Werner. Okay, Alfred Werner. Alfred Werner. In 1913, he won the Nobel Prize. Okay, so about this uh, coordination chemistry. Okay, so he is uh, considered as a father of coordination chemistry. Maybe sometime this uh, one word, it is very helpful for you. Okay, father of coordination chemistry, Alfred Werner. He got the Nobel Prize in 1913. Okay, children. So here, that is... Uh, we will talk about the positive that is the coordination, that is the compound. Okay. So now here that is Alfred Werner. We take one, consider one example and they explain about this, that is the coordination. So the example is that is CO NH3 6. Okay. Cl3. So taking this example and they explain. Okay. So now this is the metal. So every metal has two type of valency. One is primary valency. Okay, primary valency. And another one is secondary valency. Secondary valency. Okay, so the primary valency of within this compound is, this is the primary valency. So, this is what primary valency. So, secondary valency for this, this means that is the ligand. Okay. So, this one for ionizable, that is ionizable element. 
this one for ligand okay so primary valency is one for that is ionizable ionizable valency so secondary valency this the, you know very well that is to involve in this qualitative analysis this compound is non ionizable okay so easily uh, that is uh, remember the word so secondary valency that is non ionizable okay so next point this one it corresponds to the oxidation state of central metal that is uh, atom or ion okay so it corresponds to oxidation state of central metal central metal atom okay so in secondary valency this is the secondary valency this one corresponds to so coordination number okay so this six denoted as that is the coordination number coordination number okay so next this primary valency this alone that is you know, that is uh, uh, that is give the corresponds to coordination state okay so that means this alone do, to decide okay how means now see this uh, how it is uh, we say this oxidation state it corresponds to mean this compound is split into this one minus okay so this one for positive okay so that is the complex cation and a simple anion so now co nh3 six and three plus okay here three minus so this part is that is the three plus so how much positive the same amount of negative also that is present we know okay so three plus now to find out the oxidation state of cobalt this one to consider as x okay we are going to find out so taking as x x this nh3 is the neutral ligand so 0 6 into 0 0 so x is equal to 3 plus okay so now we are writing this word oxidation state so what about the cobalt oxidation state that is plus 3 okay so this one decided by the this uh, that is the primary valency okay here chlorine three times so here we are writing 3 plus can you understand children so this one oh, that is oxidate corresponds to primary valency corresponds to oxidation state okay so next that is the proper primary valency okay so now it is present outside that is a counter ions this one for ionizable this one for non ionizable okay so this one ligand okay so now this primary valency it is whether it is negative or that is sometime it is positive okay so now here that is the negative so it is satisfied the valencies as that is the negative charges in secondary valency mean this one for negative okay or positive or that is neutral all three also it is possible okay so here only that is the negative type of element or sometimes only that is the positive okay it is satisfied by the positive so here that is negative even this nh3 is a neutral type of ligand sometimes it has the positive type of ligand negative type of ligand it is of course here so negative positive and a neutral here that is the negative that is the valency okay so next one this that is the secondary valency that is to decide the determine the geometry of the complex so geometry mean that is shape okay so shape means here that is now the coordination number six the geometry is octahedral octahedral okay so now the coordination number if it is the coordination number is four the geometry is tetrahedral tetrahedral or square planar okay so this this the geometry is decided by this the that is the secondary valency that is the ligand okay so next this nh3 group so it is present inside the sphere okay so this one it is called as inner sphere 
or coordination sphere this one it is present outside so outer sphere and another one we already studied ionizable so ionization sphere now see the diagram so the center of the element is that is cobalt okay so here how many nh3 that is 6 nh3 group okay so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay so here nh3 group is attached nh3 nh3 is directly attached with the that is the central metal that is nco okay nh3 group directly at, that is attached so this is inner sphere so next one that is outer sphere this is the outer sphere okay so inner sphere is also called as this one inner so inner sphere or this is a coordination sphere coordination sphere coordination so next to this one for outer sphere okay outer sphere so this one is attached to that that is the primary valency so here Okay, here that is CL group. So here CL. Okay, so here that is CL. So the CL it is present in the outer sphere. So this NH3 is finely attached with the central metal atom. This one loosely is attached with the central metal atom. Okay, central metal atom or ions. Okay, so it has the two, that is the sphere. Same way for it has two valency, primary valency, secondary valency. So same way here, inner sphere and the outer sphere. Inner sphere is also called as coordination sphere. Outer sphere, it is also called as ionization sphere. Inner sphere is finely attached to the central. This one is loosely attached to the central metal. Okay, so this is, and another one here, the solid line that is NH3 group solid line so this one denoted as it is a directional in nature so secondary valency R so next point that is directional in nature the primary valency this one for non-directional in nature so this is the postulate of Werner theory once again so here the central metal atom classified into two. One is primary valency and secondary valency. See this example. In this example, the outer sphere is the primary valency. The inner sphere except the metal. The remaining part is the secondary valency. That is we are called as a ligand. Okay. So this one for ionizable. This one non-ionizable. This one non-directional. This one directional character, it is satisfied the negative, the negative that is the valency. Here positive, negative as well as neutral. Okay, so this is the postulate of Werner theory. Okay, so now, so now let us see the topic, illustration of Werner postulate. Okay, children, so here we must identify the primary valency and the secondary valency so take some that is some more practice for uh, the coordination compound to identify which one is the primary valency which one is secondary valency okay so this tabular column that is uh, uh, give the that is a uh, points within the coordination compound which one is the primary valency which one is secondary valency and next one to find out the number of that is the moles of ionizable Cl minus and next one each compound give the sum that is the colors CO, Cl3, 6, NH3 the compound is yellow color so this one for purple color, green color and the violet color okay so this one now right in the that is the coordination compound pattern so see here center metal CO cobalt okay next NH3 so 6 times this is the coordination sphere. Children, you must put like this only, okay? It is not like this. That is, this is a parenthesis, okay? So, don't write in the form of parenthesis. You must put this type only, okay? So, this one denoted as coordination sphere. 
and next is CL3 this one want to write outside okay so within this example now to identify the secondary valency children which one is the secondary valency so within the coordination sphere okay so secondary valency means you know very well it is a non-ionizable okay except to the metal so here this is the non-ionizable okay so so non-ionizable the element is that is n h3 okay so how many that is a time 6 so write 6 and h3 okay so next one primary valency so primary valency means we know that is the ionizable valency so cl okay so here want to write that is cl okay primary valency how many times that is three times okay so ionizable so put the charges and this one for that is the neutral ligand so here have no charges okay so number of ionizable that is the cl that is minus ion mean here number of that is ionizable is that is the three cl so three cl minus okay okay so number of ionizable cl minus is three so now to add this add the compound with the silver nitrate so now the precipitate is that is silver chloride agcl is so 3 agcl is obtained student this one for silver nitrate test this one to identify the chloride ions okay so this compound now to add the silver nitrate so now here that is a 3 chloride ion it is uh, that is a uh, ionizable so ag plus combined with the cl minus now to produce 3 ag cl okay so now see see the next one co central metal so write the ligand nh3 here five times okay so next one to write chlorine okay inside the sphere so totally within the sphere six ligand is present the coordination number is six so write like this so remaining part is cl2 children so we take some more practice for that is write the coordination compound so within the sphere whether it is six or four maximum compound okay so here five plus one six now say the secondary valency so this is the secondary valency so one is nh3 okay nh3 how many times that is 5 so next one is that is cl okay how many times only one so totally 5 plus 1 6 here nh3 already that is 6 is present so here we never write the cl can you understand children okay so primary valency here cl2 so this is the primary valency okay this one primary valency so write 2 times cl so put the charges okay so now number of ionizable that is the cl is 2 okay so 2 cl minus so how many that is agcl is formed 2 agcl is obtained okay agcl is obtained next example here co co cobalt okay capital letter c co nh3 4 times okay so now 4 within the sphere how many ligand six so remaining two so here write cl2 so four plus two six so next cl want to write it outside only one cl okay so overall it is balanced four and which three cl3 two plus one three at the same time within the coordination sphere how many ligand is present six okay so four plus two six okay so now say the secondary valency so this is the secondary valency except the metal remaining as the secondary valency so here four n h3 and h3 and next cl two times so totally four plus two six okay so what about the primary that is cl minus how many times that is only one time so here one cl minus is obtained it react with the silver nitrate now to produce silver chloride that is agcl is obtained so how many moles of agcl mean one mole of agcl is obtained okay so same way for next also the same that is co nh3 that is 4 okay cl2 so close the coordination sphere so next one here cl so nh3 four times 
Cl two times. Here Cl only one time. So Cl one time. So how many AgCl is obtained? One AgCl is one that is molecules of AgCl is that is get the precipitate. But the color is different. Okay. So children, I uh, that is I hope you can understand this illustration of Werner theory. So this Werner theory mainly that is focus from the coordination compound. We must identify the primary valency and secondary valency so primary valency it is present outside the coordination sphere inside the coordination sphere except the metal is the secondary valency this alone keep in your mind and you can fill that that is the tabular column okay so now see the next part is that is the limitation of werner theory okay so maximum properties that is it is explained but only few properties it is not that is explained it cannot explain so what are the properties in number one color and second one that is magnetic properties so whenever i say you have some doubt ma'am now you are writing the color for this compound is yellow color this compound is purple this one is green this one is violet but you say that is the limitation part that is it does not explain the color mean here the compound for such a color this compound for such a color but in which basis the color it is obtained they never that is explained they never give the reason okay but at the same time children in transition that is the uh, topic transition element topic that is we can that is identify now give the compound okay so it is that is it contain the unpaired electron the compound contain unpaired electron mean it is such and such color at the same time it is absence of that is a d orbital or completely fill it is the colorless component okay for example is it in 2 plus okay so sc3 plus sc3 plus is the d0 is it in 2 plus is the d10 so colorless so remaining it has that is a some unpaired electron so it is color so but here they never give any idea about why such and such a color it is not possible to explain same way for magnetic properties so magnetic property means mean that is a two magnetic properties paramagnetic and diamagnetic area that is frequently where that is using this two term so this also how it is not possible to explain that is never give them that is a clear idea about this so this is the limitation okay so color and magnetic properties it is uh, cannot that is uh, explain about this Werner theory children till that is um, we see the topic once again just recall here that is study the there is a double salt and a coordination compound okay so next posit later of werner theory and illustration of werner theory and uh, that is the limitation of werner theory so for this area that is the posit later of werner theory is a five mark question so to concentrate that area as well as this illustration limitation is the two mark question so study uh, the topic thoroughly okay i hope you understand the coordination chemistry thank you children